Thank you. It is clear to anyone who's seen how devastating this past year and a half has been, and anyone who has really listened to the people of this country, that now is a time for action. Action to address the existential threat of climate change, action to address the economic crisis that, caused, that was caused by this pandemic, and action to make sure we are never in this situation again. So now is the time to rebuild our nation stronger and fairer for everyone. That means building a 21st century infrastructure that is more resilient, accessible, and equitable so every community has clean water, solid roads and bridges, transit, and high-speed internet. It means cutting emissions and creating good union-paying jobs, good-paying union jobs, and keeping our nations competitive in today's changing economy, which is why this infrastructure package we are working on right now is so important. But as this pandemic has shown us, building a stronger, fairer nation also means building an economy where every worker has quality, affordable childcare and paid family and medical leave. It means building an education system where every young learner has pre-K and every adult learner has the option to pursue a higher education. It means modernizing our public health system and ensuring uh, it serves every community keeping a roof over everyone's head and making sure housing is affordable for every American, making sure people with disabilities and older Americans have the home and community-based services that they need to live independently in their communities, and supporting the workers who provide that critical care. And it also means providing immigrants a fair pathway to citizenship. In short, in short it means we have a lot of work ahead of us which is why Democrats are so committed to pressing forward on this two-track process. People do not have time to wait. Families in my home state of Washington are paying more for childcare than rent. Parents across America are choosing between a paycheck and staying home to care for a newborn. Communities are facing the effects of climate change, like the wildfires out west um, that have become a part of every summer. That's why we need to take action right now. Thank you. Senator Stabenow. 